In this video, you'll be learning about how to heat treat 1095 steel, probably one of the easier steels to heat treat due to its high carbon content. Here at the beginning, I have a pile of charcoal. I place the knife in the charcoal and then I put more charcoal on top. Those two pieces of wood on the side are for wind protection and you'll see how that happens later. I then start the fire with a propane torch. After this, you may see a hair dryer in the bottom right of the corner. The hair dryer is used to shoot air at the flame, thus increasing oxygen, and oxygen is one of the main components of fire, so when there's more oxygen, more heat is created. Without shooting air into the fire, heat treatment process would not be possible. Here in the video, you see me testing the knife with a magnet. When the knife is no longer magnetic, so the magnet doesn't stick to it, stick it back in the flame for a little bit longer. After you've let the knife sit in the heat a little bit longer, test it with the magnet once more and then quench it in oil. 1095 steel is not a steel you need to quench in oil, but I prefer to do so since I just have this big gallon of oil. After you've quenched the steel, if you run a file along the spine of the blade, it should sound somewhat like glass. This means that you fully harden the blade to the best of your ability. The next part of the heat treatment process is tempering, which we'll get to right after we clean up the blade. For the tempering process, use a toaster oven. It's pretty easy. All you do is set your toaster oven to 400, Put your knife in it, close it, and leave it there for 45 minutes. After that, you're all done.